Since ancient times, people have been arguing whether animals can experience feelings of compassion and mercy, whether they can take care of other species of animals, help those who are in trouble, or are they driven only by instinct? The mental abilities of animals are still not fully understood. Many scientists conducting experiments confirm or refute many hypotheses, but life often presents new, amazing stories that do not fit into any scientific work. And then it remains only to believe, in spite of science, that there are exceptions to every rule and that there are even wild animals that can think logically, draw conclusions, and make decisions that can even cost them their own lives just to help those who are in trouble. Today we will tell you an incredible story that teaches a lot. This story took place in a small remote village where an elderly woman and her 11-year-old grandson lived. His grandmother raised him alone as the boy lost both parents in a car accident when he was very young. From childhood, she taught her grandson to take care of nature and its inhabitants, to respect the wild world that surrounded them. From an early age, the boy was well-versed in medicinal herbs. He knew where and at what time of the year it is better to collect certain plants. He was also well-versed in how to navigate the forest so as not to get lost. In winter, the elderly woman and her grandson fed birds and hares in the forest, and in summer, they gathered berries, medicinal herbs, and mushrooms. Once, when the boy was at school, the grandmother was at home alone on the farm. She was feeding the chickens when she suddenly felt unwell. The woman decided to rest in the house, but she never reached the house. She lost consciousness and fell to the ground in the yard. She was found by her grandson, who returned home from school after lunch. He rushed to the local paramedic. People helped carry the woman into the house, but no one could tell what had happened to her. By evening, the grandmother regained consciousness. She needed to go to the hospital, but the woman flatly refused. She could not leave her beloved grandson alone. Instead, she decided to heal herself with the help of nature's gifts. For many years, she did not take any medicine, only healing herbs. This time was no different, but they didn't have the necessary plants in the house, so she asked her grandson to go to the forest in the morning and bring the missing herbs. The boy knew very well where they grew, so getting up early in the morning, he took a small bottle of water and a piece of bread with him and went to the forest. He easily found the clearing where he and his grandmother had collected medicinal plants. The list of plants was large, so the boy, without a moment's delay, began to collect them. He loved his grandmother so much and so sincerely wanted to help her so that she would recover faster that he completely forgot about safety. Distracted by his thoughts about the health of his grandmother, the boy took a few steps back. Then there was a crunch under his feet and he fell into a deep hole. It was a hunting trap for large animals. The boy knew perfectly well how the hunters camouflage such pits, and he always saw them from afar, but not today. Today, he only thought about his grandmother and did not notice his surroundings. The walls of the pit were very wet and slippery, and there was nothing to grab onto. Assessing the situation, the boy realized that if no one came to his aid in the near future, he would die in this pit from dehydration. He could only hope that the hunters who dug this trap would come to check it out in time. The day was drawing to a close. The boy ate the piece of bread and tried to use the water very sparingly. He drank one small sip at a time, stretching it out as much as possible. Three days passed, and the water had long been drunk. The boy lost his voice trying to shout for help. He was alone, and there was not a single human soul for many miles around. He was completely desperate when he heard a quiet crunch of branches from above. Looking up hopefully, he saw the red muzzle of a fox. She looked down at him for a few seconds and then disappeared from view. Suddenly, something cold and wet fell on top of the boy. It was a raw fish. The boy looked up to see that fox that had brought him food. The boy grabbed the fish with dirty hands and immediately ate it. He was so hungry that he did not even notice that the fish was raw. For the next few days, the fox brought the boy a fish, and it was only thanks to her that he was able to survive. Soon the boy heard the voices of people in the distance. He tried to scream, but he had no voice at all. He looked up hopefully, and then two men bent over the pit in which he was sitting. Seeing the boy, the men immediately dropped down a rope and pulled the boy out. He was completely exhausted and dehydrated. After giving him a little drink, they covered him with their jackets. Only now did he notice that next to him, covered with a net, lay the same fox that had been feeding him all this time. The hunters said that they noticed this fox was acting very strange. 
she ran out to people and then ran away for a distance, as if trying to get someone to follow her. It was she who led the hunters to this pit and then sat down next to it. They easily threw a net over her, and only then did they see the boy. The boy told them that it was this fox who fed him all these days and did not let him die. The boy tearfully asked them not to kill her, but to let her go. Touched by his words, the men removed the net from the fox, and she immediately disappeared into the forest. This is how the wild animal, assessing the boy's condition, realizing that only she could help him in this situation, showed real concern for him. And then, risking her own life, she brought other people to him. Only the boy's grandmother was not surprised by this story. She only smiled, and it was clear that this was not the first time she'd heard such a story.